All right, now it's time for Talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, it is rookie day. Dolphins reporting to camp today, but we're going to be looking at a non-rookie. Ryan Tannehill after knee surgery, a close eye on him. Yeah. Coach Adam Gay said yesterday he's comfortable with the backup situation should anything happen, heaven forbid, to uh, Ryan Tannehill again this season. He says it's not going to be a Jay Cutler type of situation, though. So what do you think? What do you think of the backups, just in case? Well, let, let's go through this whole thing because it, it starts, this team and this success starts with Ryan Tannehill. He's missed his last 20 games. Um, He's got to stay healthy, and he's got to play absolutely his best football for this team to get better than six wins. It starts with him. There's nobody in this town, coach or player, that's got more pressure on him than Ryan Tannehill. He's the guy he doesn't have to look over his shoulder. Now, we'll talk about those backups, Fells, Osweiler, uh, Petty, the three veteran players they decided to go with. Adam Gates went out on a limb and said, I think these guys are better and young enough where they're going to get better than anything I could get in the draft. They went that direction. A lot of these guys haven't had a lot of success or experience in some cases, but uh, – you got to get one of those guys ready to go because if Ryan Tannehill does go down, boy, you got to have somebody ready to go or your season falls apart and there could be a lot of changes in Davey. A lot. Top right. to bottom. Yeah, speaking of changes, Joe, in the offseason, we saw that the team lost quite a few of their big name players and Dominican Sue, Pouncey, they're right. all gone. No longer Miami Dolphins. But Coach Gay says he is finally happy with the team that he has and he says it's the team that he wants. Were you surprised by that? No, uh, because I spent some time with him. He really is fired up about this group. He feels like he's got the kind of guys he wants. They hang around. They're there all day. They're working hard. He feels like it's more of a team. This group of guys, they doing stuff together. It's all great. It's a great start. But as you know, Lauren, and I don't want to be cold about this, it's going to come down to how do you play Sunday at 1 o'clock because mm -hmm. the Dolphins have 15 to 16 games Sunday at 1 o'clock. So we're going <laughs> to find out that's when they have to play well make plays a lot of numbers got to get a lot better that's not cold that's just realistic joe it is what it is so that's we'll see what being they can real do. that's it <laughs> all righty sir we will yes, talk to you that's right in the next hour see you soon <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, you got a second before you go? Are you sure. still with me? Why not? I'm here. Yeah, Lauren, <laughs> but before you go, hey, I know you got a lot of stuff going on this morning. Mother's Day's coming up yes. here. I haven't even started yet, but I want to uh -oh. ask you, what are you expecting from the husband? Are you expecting flowers, a brunch, he'll, a dinner, and a gift? How much does do the husband have to do with that. the kids? He'll do a little bit of all of that. He helps every day, not just on Mother's right. Day, so I hope all the dads out there know. Not just Mother's Day, every day, every day. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but you're not high maintenance. I, I get no. you're not high maintenance Mother's Day kind of stuff. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm just checking. Thank you. I'll leave you All alone. Right, you go back. Thank we'll you. We'll talk to you in the next. Goodbye. Hour.